Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking you with me plein air painting again. Today I'm going to share with you how I look for subjects that might be a bit easier to paint and just generally how to simplify these uh, complex nature scenes. I find these scenes really challenging myself as well. So keep that in mind, not every plein air painting is going to turn out well. So one thing that I look for when I'm out on plein air is to find contrast. In this scene, I see, you know, there's lots of contrast with the bridge and some uh, grasses. There's these sculptures, the gazebo, contrast of light and dark here, and there's this little island. So I can find like maybe three paintings already in this scene. In this sketch, I'm starting with the lighter areas, then going in with the middle and darker values as usual, but I did not pay some good attention to the values and it ended up being quite a failure. So here's how I did, uh, definitely not a painting I would frame on the wall. I think the major problem here is that everything looks kind of the same. I think this uh, area here is not too bad and there is some contrast here but I didn't really follow uh, my value study here. So even though maybe I don't have the best painting as a result, it still gave me some learning experience and I will I try and replicate this painting just with everything that I, that I learned from plein air. So I'm going in with the lighter areas and I will drop some of the shadows in there as well while the paper is still wet so that the shadow edges are soft in the areas where I don't want to attract the attention and I just want it to have soft edges. I'm pre-wetting the shapes on the right again so that all the pigment that I apply there will have soft edges. For the colors I'm using mostly a mixture of yellow ochre, some queen acridone sienna, some burnt sienna and for the greens I'm trying out this new mixture of thallow green and queen acridone sienna it creates a kind of an olive green color but not really it's still more on the cooler side anyway i'm having fun with it so as you can see with the composition that i have here uh, the bridge is kind of the, the main point of interest and I want to uh, keep most of the darker shadow contrast with the light around that area and the sharp edges as well. But that doesn't mean that I can't have any other secondary areas of interest. It's just they won't attract our attention as much. In this composition, I plan to have the viewer enter from the lower left corner you know move toward the corner where i'm not sure if you can see but there's like the little ducky there and then move on to the bridge so it will be like an s shape uh, path so that's what i'm working toward in this sketch an important part of um, attracting bringing the viewers attention to the bridge are these grasses the vegetation and the strong contrasts and the sharpness that they create so here is an unfortunate uh, thing and I'm sorry about it but I thought the camera was recording when it wasn't essentially I'm doing the same thing that I did on the trees I pre-wet the paper and applied various 
shades of uh, warmer and cooler darker green to create an illusion of waves here I'm using a washout technique uh, basically I'm taking a brush that has no pigment in it and it will soak up the, uh, the pigment from the paper and I'm also doing some scraping with a credit card to indicate the grasses off to more details on the bridge and the shapes of people here I think I just want to indicate and the viewer can already guess like there is no need to be very detailed with the figures pre-wetting the paper again and filling in the left portion of the water adding some more dark areas, dark reflections using the washout technique to indicate the reflection of the figures and some more ripples on the water with details sometimes it's helpful to flip the painting upside down and look at it you will see the painting in abstract shapes and understand what is missing there so here i uh, figured that i am missing some of the definition on the left so i added some more shadows to the stone and more shadows to the reflection of the tree Now using white gouache uh, mixed with a bit of olive green and yellow ochre to indicate more of the greenery on the surface of the water. I flipped the painting again because it just makes it easier to see where these lines are needed. Adding some definition to where the duck is and again a little bit more of those a white vegetation on the surface of the water here I'm basically relying on my own sense of composition and there is no way to say where exactly you need to place these white dots white strips you just have to rely on your inner sense of where you think it's needed and you can develop this sense by painting more and more and also observing some master paintings and playing with composition exercises. I hope this video inspired you and gave you some encouragement in that not every painting needs to be a success, especially a plein air, but that experience still adds up to your knowledge and skill. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching and until next time.